Number 10. Wheelchair for Life In Brazil, a 20-year-old girl was left in a wheelchair after suffering a bacterial infection from a nose piercing. Sadly, she'll never walk again. And all because she wanted to get a small piece of metal stuck through her nose, just like pretty much every single one of her friends. Her name is Leanne Diaz, and she got her nose pierced in July of 2018. After she did it, the piercing bled and got a little swollen, but she just thought that was normal. Then she saw a spot on her nose, a rather big one that made her nose look bright red like Rudolph the reindeer. The spot was followed by a fever, which was then followed by an outstanding pain in both her legs. Things got worse still. The pain gradually shifted to a feeling of numbness throughout her entire body to the point where she couldn't walk anymore. And throughout this whole ordeal, doctors were struggling to give a proper diagnosis. It wasn't until they discovered bacteria in her bloodstream, something called Staphylococcus aureus, that they were able to figure out what was going on. Here's where things got really gross. She was given an MRI scan at the hospital, which showed she had 500 milliliters of pus compressing three of her vertebrae in her spinal cord. She literally had pus in her spine, causing her to be paralyzed. She couldn't feel anything at this point from her chest down. She underwent emergency surgery, which she managed to stop the infection from spreading, but it couldn't save her legs. It saved her life, but now she's stuck in a wheelchair. And what's really crazy is that the neurosurgeon who did the surgery, a guy named Oswaldo Ribeiro Marquez, told local news he had never seen that kind of an infection in his 15 years of practicing medicine. Number nine, the wrong nipple. Nikki Belza has spent over $22,000 throughout her life to enhance her chest. She went from a 32A at the age of 21 to a 32 triple D at the age of 33 but it would be a nipple piercing that almost killed Nikki, something super simple and super cheap and supposedly safe. A few weeks after Nikki got her left nipple pierced, she accidentally ripped the bar out of it. Pain on the left side of her chest became so unbearable that she collapsed at work and was rushed to the hospital. But it turned out there was a bunch of different factors at play here. Doctors told her that she had gotten streptococcal A from her husband, but what should have been a normal bacterial infection triggered sepsis. Because she had just accidentally ripped out her nipple piercing, the sepsis spread into her breast and ravaged the tissue there. The sepsis was so bad that it literally ate her flesh to the point where doctors had to remove her implant, leaving her with a 32 triple D on one side and nothing on the other. Number 8. Ear Growths Jennifer from Philadelphia was 18 years old when she went through a procedure that most teens in America go through without having any trouble. She got her ears pierced, but after she got the piercings, her ears became infected and she was left with huge and terrifying ugly growths protruding from the sides of her head. These growths were so big and so heavy that they actually gave her headaches and caused her to suffer from vertigo, aka severe dizziness. Jennifer had four growths in total, two on each ear. When she went to the hospital, the doctors told her there was nothing they can do to help. So, she had to seek help from a specialist, Dr. Sandra Lee. Sandra was able to diagnose Jennifer with extreme keloids. This is a type of scarring that happens with minor skin damage. Basically, the piercings on her ears scarred over, and those scars continued to grow out of control. The only way to get rid of them was with surgery. But this surgery was not simple. The doctor had to remove a huge amount of Jennifer's ear tissue and then use skin grafts to reshape her ears so that she didn't look like some kind of deformed elf. And to make things worse, this wasn't a cure for the keloids. Jennifer had to continue with a course of radiation therapy to keep the keloids from coming back. The only good news is that at least she had the growths gone and no longer suffers from devastating headaches. Number seven, a deadly DIY. A schoolgirl in Brazil died from an infection after a botched DIY eyebrow piercing. Her name was Isabella Eduarda de Souza, just 15 years old. She worked up the courage to give herself the eyebrow piercing, but seeing as she wasn't a professional and had never done it before, things went terribly wrong. The only reason she did it herself was because her parents had refused to allow her to get one professionally. She felt that the only way she could have the eyebrow piercing she so desperately craved was by jamming a needle through her face all by herself. Well, the needle she pushed through her eyebrow gave her an infection. 
Three days after the risky procedure, her eyebrows started to swell. But by the time she finally decided to seek medical attention at the hospital, it was too late. She was rushed into an emergency room where she suffered four heart attacks in a row. She was then transferred to a special hospital, put on a ventilator, and passed on just shortly after. It might be worth quickly mentioning that this is probably the worst piercing to try and do yourself. An eyebrow piercing done improperly can not only cause a deadly infection, but can cause nerve damage that will mess up your face for the rest of your life. Number six, a ruptured face. Tammy Caulfield almost bled to death because of a cheek piercing. She was rushed to the hospital after collapsing face first on the pavement and then choking on her own blood. Doctors had to carry out an emergency operation with one of the medics comparing her injury to that of a gunshot wound. When the doctors finally saved her life, they informed her that the reason for her troubles was that the cheek piercing had ruptured an artery in her face. The ruptured artery caused her to lose roughly four pints of blood. And to give you a good comparison of just how much blood that is, the average person has between six and seven pints of blood in her body. This means she lost over half of her entire blood stock through a hole in her cheek. Would you dare get your cheek pierced knowing there's a possibility that you could rupture an artery and bleed to death? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Number five, losing an ear. Bianca Hart, 18 years old from England, got a stud put in the top of her right ear. It was a quick procedure that cost about $10 right before the start of university. Several days later, she began to experience excruciating pain right in the area where she'd gotten the piercing. Clearly, it had become infected. She went back to the piercing studio to have the stud replaced with a small silver bar, but that didn't fix the problem. Two weeks later, she was rushed to the emergency room. The first thing doctors did was cut her ear open. They thought her ear was full of pressure from the infection and she needed it to be released. But after they made the cut, they realized the infection had been wreaking devastation for the past two weeks. It had eaten most of the cartilage on Bianca's ear. They then had to cut off the top part of her ear and put her on morphine for a week to ease the pain. In the end, Bianca was lucky that she didn't lose her entire ear. She's still stuck with just part of an ear for the rest of her life. But at least she finally got the infection taken care of. When she arrived for her first day of university, Bianca did so with a bandage wrapped around her head. So that was probably pretty embarrassing. Number four, playground piercings. Parents are being warned of a deadly new craze on school playgrounds across the country in which teens are almost dying from giving themselves fake body piercings. The craze came from none other than TikTok where teenagers learn that they can give themselves fake tongue piercings using magnetic ball bearings. But instead of getting the look they want, many of those youngsters are accidentally swallowing the ball piercings, causing bowel perforation and intestinal blockage. According to Sanja Bezorovic, a pediatric surgeon at Hull and East Yorkshire hospitals, three children nearly died in just a few weeks from attempting their very own tongue piercings. One of them was a nine-year-old boy with another being just 12 years old. In the case of Freddie Webster, 12, he had to have 10 centimeters of his bowel removed in an emergency operation after he swallowed several magnetic ball bearings. These ball bearings ripped a hole right through his stomach. He had put the ball bearings in his cheek and then attached a metal object on the outside of his cheek, making it look like he had a piercing. But when he tried to remove the ball bearings in his mouth, two of them slipped down his throat. Within just five minutes, he began to experience stomach pain. The pain became so severe that he was rushed to the hospital where he was taken immediately into surgery. And while all three of these recent cases were lucky, with the kid surviving, doctors are warning parents that the next kid may not be so fortunate. Number three, nightmare at Claire's. A six-year-old girl named Lily begged her mother to get her ears pierced. Her mother, Susie Nesbitt, had gotten her first piercing as a child. All Lily's friends had piercings. It didn't seem like a big deal. The mother took her daughter to the store Claire's to get the piercing done. Lily was excited and she would finally be able to wear jewelry in her ears, just like all her friends. But of course, that's not the end of the story. Three weeks after the piercing, Lily's earrings refused to come out. Her mother had been cleaning her ear with special liquid and hadn't tried to take the earring out. But during those three weeks, the earring had embedded itself underneath the young girl's skin, something that's definitely not supposed to happen. 
Lily had to go to the hospital and be given local anesthetic so the doctors could cut the earring out of her scalpel. Ouch. The girl was totally fine in the end, just a bit traumatized and no longer interested in getting anything pierced. After all, having to get your first piercing carved out of your ear on an operating table would put anybody off the trend. Number two, fulminant liver failure. A woman from Queens in New York City decided to treat herself for the holidays. She got herself a small diamond nose ring as a gift from herself to herself. Shortly after, Dana Smith was rushed to the hospital, barely alive. According to what Dana told CBS New York, she lost her appetite in the week following the implant of a small diamond stud just over her left nostril. Shortly after, she began to experience stomach pain, but because of the COVID-19 pandemic, she was too scared to go to the hospital. She waited until it felt like she was actually going to die before she took herself to the emergency room. And by that time, her liver had already began to fail. She was put into a medically induced coma and diagnosed with fulminant liver failure. When Dana woke up from her coma, she was informed that the infection from her simple diamond stud had gotten so bad that they had to give her a liver transplant. While she was asleep, Dana had only thought she had a stomach flu. She had no idea when she went to the hospital that she was just days away from her liver failing and her dropping dead. And number one, a bad birthday present. According to Amanda Taylor's family, she wanted a tongue piercing so that she could look like her favorite pop star, Pink. It was also Amanda's birthday, and her family was happy to pay for the piercing as a special gift. But it turned out to be the worst birthday present ever because Amanda died from blood poisoning just two days later. Amanda was 34 years old when she collapsed all because of a tiny steel bar shoved through her tongue. The day before, she wrote in a Facebook post that she felt like garbage. The day before that, she had visited Silverhand Jewelry in the city of Cardiff to have the stud put in. Then her tongue became swollen. She came down with a sore throat, and when she went to see the doctor, she was prescribed penicillin. The doctor thought she had tonsillitis, but when she got home, she died from septicemia and acute tonsillitis. Public health officials investigated the jewelry store she had gotten the piercing from, only to find that they had unhygienic practices. Go figure. Amanda Taylor died because the people that gave her the piercing were dirty, and the piercing got infected with bacteria. But of course, the jewelry store insists that they followed a very strict hygiene protocol. In the end, nobody was convicted, and Amanda Taylor was buried six feet under. Thanks for watching. What's the worst experience you've ever had with a piercing? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. See you on the next one.